Hey, what's up? Welcome to Domain and Range Part 1. This is a, just a little tiny bit of Domain and Range. Um, we're going to hit this as we kind of get familiar with seeing points. You know, they might list points as a table. They might just list them as coordinates, or they might give us a graph, or they might give us a mapping. So you're going to learn all of these representations about points and hit Domain and Range real quick. Let's go. When it comes to you, I'm All right, ready, here we go. Hey, whoa, whoa. Before we go, let's make sure we get our student credence. We're going to have a great day. We don't have to bring any extra negativity or anything that happened yesterday. We're starting brand new right now. Whatever happened a couple hours ago, whatever happened a couple minutes ago, that's gone. All right, here we go. Student creed on three. Ready? One, two, three. Today is a new day. I can read well. I can understand what I read. I can remember it and apply it correctly. I've got eyes to see, ears to hear, and a mind to understand. It might not be easy. But it's worth it. Ah. All right, here we go. Ah, this first problem right here. It says express the relation below. I don't even don't even get caught up on the word relation. Who cares? I just need you to know that whenever you see points like this, whenever they're like in brackets or parentheses, that's just a point on the grid. All right. Now they all they want you to do is they want you to copy the points from the coordinates into a table. The first number goes first. That's the x. The x numbers are always first. Then the Y numbers are after them. They have to stay together. You can't just mix match. For instance, I have to put the 19 with the 9. I cannot put the 19 with the 0 because I don't see a 19 with a 0. All right? So don't lie and make things up. All right. Now, all right, now here we go. To make it easier, I'm going to read this, these things right here. 11, 5. Cool. 19, 9, 2, and I don't know. Well, let's find the 2. Who's got the 2 in the front? Hey, here he is. Who's his partner? 4. Boom. Just that easy. All right, next one. It says express relation. Well, I don't even know what that even means. But I do know that I see points on a grid. Then underneath it, I see a table. All you got to do, put the points from the grid into the table. So this guy says 3, 0. Let's, let's make sure we can find 3, 0. So I always start off in the origin. That's the, right here in the middle. Go over 3 because the X is always first. 1, 2, 3. And then don't move. The, the 0 means don't move. Just sit there. Hey, here he is. So he's already there. Now, this point right here, I don't even know what that is. Uh, but I see a point four, six. Let's see, four, six. One, two, three, four. Then we go up six. Okay, so four, six is there. So this guy's not there. Do you know who this guy is? Well, here he gives you the first part. It says zero and what? I don't know. Let's see, start off on the origin. Now, don't move when it comes to left and right. But you got to go up two units. So I'm going to put a two right there. Nice. All right, same thing. They just gave it to me a little differently. Domain and range. Here we go. Your domain is always your X numbers. Your range is always your Y numbers. So domain is X, range is Y. Now we got to take the domain and range and then put them into little corners. Now, whenever you see these arrows coming off the left-hand group and going to the right-hand group, all you have to know is, is it, that is what's telling you who the pairs are. So, for instance, 5 is paired with 0. 8 goes to 1. And 9 goes to 6. Those are the teammates. So here we go. First point. It says 5, 0. Let's make sure it's there. Go over 5. We start from the origin. Go over 5 on the X. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 0 means sit there. Stay still. Don't go up. Don't go down. Stay right there. Okay, cool. Next one says 8, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then go up 1. Nice. Next one says 9, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then up 6. Nice. All right. All my points are here. Let's go. Oh my gosh, this looks so different. I don't even know what to do. It's the same thing. Same thing. Point, table, let's put it on the grid. First point needs to be 0, 8. So find the origin, go over 0, and now we go up 8. There he goes. Next guy says 7, 0. Well, let's go over 7, and then go up and down 0. So don't move. Stay there. Next one says 6, 10. Go over 6, go up 10. Oh, he's already there. I don't got to put him there. That's it. All right, check out this weirdo. Look at these points. Uh, 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 what? All you got to know, the arrows tell you who they're being paired up with. Let's see. We have to have 19 going to negative 12. All right, is a 19? Yeah, here's a 19. Is it going to negative 12? Yes, he is. We have to have negative 8 going to 5. Is negative 8 going to 5? Yes, he is. Then we also have to have 19 going to 5. 
is negative is 19. Yeah, okay. So 19 goes to negative 12, and 19 also goes to 5. Got it. This guy right here, oh, he's... Uh, what? This guy looks weird. Let's see, negative 8. He's taking him to negative 12. That doesn't happen. Get out of here. He's the winner. All right. Now we got to hit the uh, domain and range portion of the lesson. Here it is. What is the range of this relation? All the range means, all right? You have domain and range. Domain and range. Domain is the x. Range is the y. Domain is the x values. Range is the y values. That's all. That's all domain and range is. So check this out. It says, what is the range of this relation? Shoot, I don't know. But, I mean, I don't even have any numbers here. Well, they give you a graph. So all you got to do is write down the coordinates. So there you go. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write down the coordinates. I'm going to start from the left and then work my way to the right. So I got this guy right here is at negative 5, negative 3. So negative 5, negative 3. I'm going to write him down. Negative 5, negative 3. Close it. The next guy is negative 4, negative 4. Negative 4, comma, negative 4. Uh, I didn't do this guy right here, so let me do him right now. That's negative 4, positive 1. Oops, I put point 0.1. All right, this guy up here is 3, 3. So there we go. 3, comma, 3. All right, now they want the range. The range is all the y values. The y values are the second one. All right, y always comes last. All right, the y letters are last. It's a, B, C, D, E, F, G, C, J, N, L, P, Q, R, C, V, W, X, and then Y. X and then Y. X is always first. So I'm going to delete all the first numbers because I know that the first numbers are X's and they only want the Y's. So let me take him off. And this group right here, I'm taking off that negative 4. This guy right here, I'm taking off this negative 4. This guy right here, I'm taking off the negative 5 because those are the first numbers. Now I'm taking off all these parentheses and I'm going to separate these guys with commas because the instructions say... Make it look like this. So, all right, okay. Oh, 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 that was a three, right? Three, comma, negative four, comma, negative one, comma, done. All right, this guy's saying, what's the domain? The, that domain, domain, let's see, domain and range, domain and range. Domain comes first, so domain is the X's. So this guy only wants the X's. Well, the X's are this first column, so all I got to do is type in this first column right here. Let's go. I don't even care the order. Let's go. 6, comma, 20, comma, 15, comma, negative 16, comma. What about the other number? I don't care about the other numbers. The other numbers are range. It didn't ask us about range at all. So I just typed in the X numbers. Done. This guy says, what is the range of this relation? Well, do you know what range is? Let's see. Domain and range. Domain is first, so domain is X, and then range. Oh, so range is Y. So X and Y. This guy wants the Ys. The Ys. So all I care about is the second column. I just care about this last part. So I got negative 3. Comma, negative 3, comma, 11. Done. All right, this guy's asking, what's the domain of this relation? Well, all they give me is a graph, so what the heck, where are my numbers at? Well, all you've got to know is, all right, let's write these guys down as coordinates. So this guy right here is a negative 5, comma, negative 4. And this guy here is negative 2, negative 3. This guy here is 2, negative 5. All right, now it wants domain. So that means it wants all the first numbers. So I'm going to erase the second numbers. I don't need them. I don't need them. I don't need them. Now let me clean it up. Oops. Let me take out these parentheses right here. We don't need these guys in the answer. All right, that's it. What? How did I get this wrong? What? Negative 5, negative 2, 2? Negative 5, neg don't forget the commas. You don't put the commas in, you're going to mess up your score, right? Oh, my gosh, this guy's asking for the domain and the range of this relation. Oh. All right, let's write down the coordinates. Here we go. Domain is going to be negative 4 for the first point, negative 4, negative 1. Other point's going to be negative 2, negative 1. This guy down here is going to be 0, negative 1. This guy up here is going to be 0, 4. All right, that's the domain and the range. Like that, that, That's everything. Now, the top part just wants the first numbers because it says domain. That's the X. And then the bottom part wants the range. That's the second number, so that's going to be Y. So let me get all the Y numbers off of here and into here. So negative 1. Delete. Delete. I don't need that parentheses either. Uh, hey, there's another negative one. 
You don't have to type it again. I'm just going to do it just to make sure. Cool. Cool. Hey, there's another negative one. Nice. You can only type it in one time if you wanted to, and you still get the answer correct. And the last one is four. Four. All right. Hit enter. Let's go. Oh my gosh, domain and range here. All right, domain is all the X's, which is all the first numbers. Range is all the Y's, which is all the second numbers. So all I'm going to do is just type it in here. 20, negative 2, 9, 18, 17, 1. Range, 15, 7, 0, 9, 12, 12. Finished. That's it. That's, that's all there is to it, man. You got seeing tables. You know what tables look like? You know what coordinates look like? You know what they look like on a graph? You know what they look like in a mapping with all the arrows coming out of it? All right, that's what the practice is here. Let's get familiar with seeing that. And then also, you know what domain is? You know what range is? If you know what those are, you'll be fine, all right? It should be easy peasy, nice, easy grade today. All right, man, hope you have some, some problems solved today. All right, let's go get them. Tearing down the roof is my vocation. Anybody want the truth, drop your location. Yeah, and we gon' wiggle out and pull up. Demons ain't safe when we glide. Yeah.